koala has gone on a $6,000 rampage at a New South Wales nursery. When thousands of dollars worth of tree seedlings went missing in a New South Wales nursery, everyone was confused. Eastern Forest nursery owner Humphrey Harrington first thought possums were the culprit, the Sunday Telegraph reported. The mystery continued for two months as new leaves intended for koala habitat restoration projects would disappear overnight. But one morning, Mr. Harrington caught the real thief in the act. It was a male koala in the midst of a food coma. Too full to get away. (laughs) There he is. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Named Claude due to his large claws, the koala's undoing was being too full to climb back into his tree. This is when we realised it was a koala, not a possum. Well, I mean, if there were trees designed for forest for koala rehabilitation and reforestation, of course it's going to it's of course it's going to actually entice legitimate animals into the area. Look at those claw marks, though. Jesus. Uh, I put a towel around him. Watch out for the chlamydia. And moved him a few hundred meters down the road to a big tree at my neighbor's place. He was pretty pretty stroppy when I picked him up. You removed him from an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord. I'd be f***ing pissed off too. It was only two days before Claude was back for more, getting his paws back into the seedlings. Why did you think a few hundred metres would do it? Why? All up, he'd swallowed thousands of them, raking in a bill of around $6,000. Well, who are you going to send the bill to? Mother Nature? In an effort to stop the hungry furball, Mr. Harrington is working on building a fence on the Northern Rivers Nursery which has been growing koala food trees for more than two decades. But in all the years the nursery's been growing seedlings, he said it was the first time he'd seen a koala get inside. To me, it's not normal koala activity. Yes, it's because they're going extinct and they're looking for food sources. Are you kidding me? For anyone that doesn't know, thanks to the bushfires, we may be looking at their extinction inside the next five, ten years. They were already endangered. They already had a reduced population. In the wild, they may be gone in the foreseeable future. Let him eat the f- plants. Mm. Um, Set Jeff has a live feed of the big spear in Las Vegas if you want to see what it does. I know it's an event center inside. Okay, cool. Uh, however, we don't get too many choices of where we can get new food. There must be a shortage of food around here. All seedlings are grown on site and go to res- restoration initiatives led by community group Bangalore Koalas and the Worldwide Fund for Nature. Last year, the WWF funded bungalow koalas to plant more than 10,000 trees near the Eastern Forest Nursery in an effort to reduce to fight habitat loss. Koalas just ahead of the game, that's all, pretty much. No koala monopolies on leaves. <laughs> Had no idea the numbers were down so much. Yeah. They're, they're, they're almost gone in the wild, anyway. The syphilis bear gets lost in all the sauce. Got it. Pretty much. 